federal judge, a federal judge, has ordered Mike Pence to have to testify before a grand jury investigating former President Donald Trump's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. Robert Costa has all of the latest developments on that. In a ruling that could have historic consequences, former Vice President Mike Pence has been ordered to testify before special counsel Jack Smith's grand jury on January 6 about any illegal acts committed by former President Donald Trump. I have nothing to hide. Uh, I have a constitution to uphold. I, I upheld the constitution on January 6th. The decision is a major blow to Trump's legal team, with the judge ruling executive privilege does not apply and that private exchanges between Trump and Pence are not off limits. They're looking for evidence of criminality of the former president in connection with overthrowing our election. And there's nothing more important than that, and there's no witness probably more important than the former president's own vice president. Pence has long argued he shouldn't have to testify because of his constitutional role in the legislative branch. The notion of, of uh, compelling a former vice president to appear in court to testify against the president with whom they served is unprecedented, but I also believe it's unconstitutional. The votes for president of the United States are as follows. But the judge Just ruled Pence will not have to discuss topics that deal specifically Delaware. with his role in Congress on January 6. And last night, Pence said he and his lawyers are still deciding whether to appeal. We're currently speaking to our attorneys uh, about uh, the proper way forward. Meanwhile, here in New York City, the Manhattan District Attorney investigation investigating Trump and hush money payments might now not meet for the rest of this week, prolonging a decision on a possible Trump indictment. Anne Marie? Well, at least you don't got to stand outside the courthouse again for another day. That's well, at least the silver lining. Um, but, you know, tell me about what Mike Pence had been arguing, this speech or debate clause in the Constitution. I had not heard of it before. Uh, why did he argue that this, this offered him some sort of protection? Pence's lawyer is a veteran Washington attorney named Emmett Flood, and they have focused on this clause in the Constitution, the speech or debate clause, that they believe will enable Pence ultimately to not have to testify about things dealing with Congress. And they have focused on this because Pence, while he served as vice president, also served simultaneously as president of the Senate. It's an unusual constitutional position to be vice president of the United States with one foot in the executive, one foot in the legislative branch. Mm. Ultimately, when you look at all these signals being sent by Pence's latest interview and his lawyers, this could go all the way to the Supreme Court to make mm. a final decision on just how much he can say before a grand jury. So he may be able to sort of keep kicking this ball down the road. We don't know if he's going to run uh, for president in 2024, but I, I'm, I'm sure what he wants to do is not have to testify if he is, or at least make it happen after the after any election. What could the political ramifications be for him? Right now, the former vice president is clearly moving toward his own 2024 presidential bid. You don't go to places like Iowa all of the time. I love the, the pork sandwiches in Iowa. Very <laughs> nice people there. But you don't go there habitually unless you're thinking about a possible Republican presidential run. And he's been also in New Hampshire and South Carolina and other early voting states. But Pence is trying to figure out politically when you talk to his allies, where he fits in this Republican party, someone he believes who can reach out to that Trump voter as the former vice president in the Trump administration, but also uh, cast himself as an independent conservative due to the way he handled the final days of the Trump administration in January 6th. Like for so, so many candidates, it's going to be a calculus at the end of the, of the day about how much support he has in the grassroots coupled with how much fundraising he could do to really mount a national campaign. Mm -hmm. And so really quickly, before I let you go, you mentioned that the grand jury uh, in Manhattan is not meeting again, I guess, until next week. So does that mean there will be no updates when it comes to that hush money payments uh, case? Very likely we won't see an update this week. Though with any grand jury investigation, I hesitate to say it's written in stone mm -hmm. that they will not do something that, that could surprise us, but very unlikely it seems the district attorney is still making a decision on whether he wants to seek an indictment of the former president. All right, Robert Costa, thank you very much. Thank you.